I hate jujitsu. I absolutely hate jujitsu. But sometimes he gets stuck playing jujitsu. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to give him something where uh, when he ends up on the ground in something like top guard, he can punch him people in the face without playing some dumb little grabby boy jujitsu game. Sold. Done. Ed, can I borrow you? Sure. All right. Punch him in the face. They did. So if Mike is doing a fight and ends up in top guard. <clears throat> He wants to punch the guy in the face because he's a human being and we all want that. But he knows the moment he punches the guy in the face, he's going to get grabbed yeah. and tied off balance. And yeah. now he's playing yeah. jujitsu jitsu bull crap. So he doesn't want that. But at the same time, he doesn't want to just try and stand up and leave because you're on top. The, this little grab boy will grab my, and he'll grab my foot. And, and he'll grab your yeah. foot the moment you, you start trying to run away. So there is an alternative, which is where I can punch him in the face by doing like a couple simple things and start to nullify his submission game. Ideally, I want to be against a wall. We'll do what to do if we're not against a wall in a minute. But first, I'm going to start pushing him against the wall. And I'm going to, I'm not going to stand up. I'm going to push my hips forward. So I want to be sitting on his thighs. Almost like I'm driving my knees like a, towards like the a ground. Deadlift. Like you're hinging your hips forward like a deadlift. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Except like you don't want to be based out. Like if I'm here, he's going to dummy sweep me. And I'm going to hit the ground. So instead, my feet are way, way back. My hips are way, way forward. So it's really hard for him to reach my feet. And even if he does reach my feet, he doesn't have nearly as much leverage because I'm pitching forward. Right. From here, a magical thing happens. Just like in top mount. I can reach him, but he can't reach me. Yeah. So this is called the throne. And you can pitch forward as much as you want. If there's a wall here, you can't fall down. You just face plant on the wall and you keep punching him. So from here, I can keep punching him. He can't do a lot. There's a few things he can do from here. The first thing he's going to do, which everyone's going to want to do in MMA instinctively, I've seen a thousand times, is his legs are super close to my face. He's going to try and upkick me. If I don't want him to upkick me, I can just pinch my elbows, and he can't. But if I want him to, I can just let him upkick me and, and you pass. pass the guard yeah. that way, which is way easier than you think it is. So the moment he upkicks me, I just pinch my knee in and turn away from it, Yeah. and I'm either in reverse knee on belly, where I can just start throwing hammer fists, or I just collapse down to side control, whichever one you want to do. But that's, so, and to be clear, it's not that this is not jujitsu. It yeah. just doesn't require a number of steps to get to the position that you want. It's like a stable form of, you know, you're creating a stable platform to right. from. Right. Instead of playing human chess. Yeah. Jujitsu is not fucking human chess. <laughs> it's like, if you don't want to play chess, uh, this is, you're pretending the pieces are checkers now, and if the other person says anything, you punch them in the face. Yeah. So instead of like working guard passes and whatnot, I just hop up here and I start punching him until he gives me a guard pass. Right. And then I keep punching him. And you're not, do you didn't have to do a lot of right. things. It's, and you didn't it's, have to know a lot of moves <laughs> or know a lot of principles. And it's a very instinctual thing, because if foot comes at face, you look away from foot. You pass the guard. Just, just you'll do that anyway. That. Yeah, you'll, you'll do that anyway. You'll do that anyway if you have like two brain cells to rub yeah. together. Yeah. There's a few things they can do from here if they are like a good little grabby boy. Which is, they'll hook the leg. Well, if you want to know what they would just do, just look in the comments right now. Yeah. Just comment down below. <laughs> I would will. just do this. I've got the perfect yeah. counter. Like, you'll never. They'll hook the leg, which you absolutely want them to do. You sit on it, right? You sit on yeah. it immediately. And now I'm definitely not doing jujitsu. Right. This is now. Now it's way freaking worse for him. Yeah. And sometimes they'll put in a Z guard and hook the leg. When you're pitching forward, the Z guard doesn't do a whole lot. So you can still just sit on. Now it's stuck. And hey, go ahead and like push and like sweep me. I'm not going very far. Oh, we got you. Oh, he didn't get you. Bingo. Yeah. Oh, and, and the, you didn't have to, he did like five things. And yeah, you just did the and same just, thing. Yeah. You just did it more. <laughs> All right, so let yeah. me see. Let me see if I get this right. All right. All right, so like this, and then I'm like this. Yeah, not with your arms in. Like, like this, start this from so I do it like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, start right? from normal full guard. Oh my. Like this? Yeah, because have your arms on the inside. Oh. Uh, yeah. Right. Got it. <laughs> the basic position. So like this. Pay me later. Yeah. Yep. And then. And then just like. So I'm sort of just got a gorilla hopping up. Gorilla walking yeah. up here like this. And kind of like there's like a balance point where if I'm too far back, he can push me back. If I'm too far forward, and fall over. Right. But the wall actually makes it easier. And, and I guess it's harder for you to keep your guard closed if I've got you like this, right? Yeah. It's, it's super uncomfortable. And oh, the are moment, you uncomfortable? No, I'm oh, okay. And the moment yeah. his guard breaks, he can't get it back. Like if he separates it for any reason, yeah. it's not coming back. Yeah, and now, like get your hips on top of his thighs. 
I call this the throne, because you're sitting on the throne, made of your opponent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And right. And it's like see, shitting in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> and see how like your hips are directly on top of Ed's hips. Yeah. Like he they're can, directly in a straight and line. If I keep him, if I give him a little space, then he can buck and push and do something. Exactly. Stuff like that. So I'm taking all the space. So you're you're constantly like now driving your knees towards. And the mat. once you find the balance point, you can kind of like relax like this. Yeah, it's comfy. Yeah. It's surprising. I'm comfy. very comfortable. I'm and very then, comfortable and here. And then if you he's good? if he's trying to move under you, <laughs> yeah. he's trying to move under you, you just find yourself. Trying to sport yourself on your hands, just sit put your this. forehead against the wall. Oh, like yes. Yeah. Or sit back on his. I got his hand now. Yeah, there you go. Boom, boom. And you start throwing shots. Cool. So I don't have to know a bunch of moves. I just have to understand, I guess, a principle of my leg, my, my. Legs, Getting your hips. My hips. Over his hips. hips. Yeah. I was gonna say hips. my sack on top of your sack, but I'm pretty sure I can't say that in a YouTube video. Because <laughs> there's a thing in jujitsu. Sorry, real quick. Yeah. Seth, why don't you do jujitsu more often? Okay. <laughs> <I'm mentally> <laughs> <laughs> It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. I swear. So if his hips are in front of my hips, this yeah. is like this could go either way. Right. If his hips are get a high guard, if his hips are like way above my hips, he's in control. Um. Yeah. I'm in trouble right now. He's in control. If my hips are above his hips, he's gonna have a bad day. Right. Where I just keep putting pressure and I throw a couple shots. And if I throw a couple shots, he usually curls in like a ball and breaks his own guard. You see this in the UFC all the time. Yeah. And the moment he breaks his guard, I can slide up even higher to just a ridiculous degree and start throwing shots. So and I don't I don't have to pass unless they right. make me pass. Right? You're, yeah, 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 you're on top. As long as you can get to a position where they can't submit you or tie you up, yeah. you don't gotta do anything. You just sit there and hit them. Yeah. And then if we're not against a wall, <laughs> I can do the same thing and sit here. Now he can move backwards, so he probably will. He'll start scooting his shoulders backwards, and I'll just do the same thing, and I'll keep walking forward, and eventually we'll hit a wall. And then you're where you wanted to be anyway. And, and then we're eventually, because I just keep walking forward. Without you ever having to play the game. Without me I dig messing it. with his legs. I dig it. There you go. Any chance where I get to be like this on top of another man and not do jujitsu? <laughs> I really enjoy that thoroughly. <laughs> That's what you're into. Yeah. They make a list for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool.